with me. Um, the reason I invite her to have a short interview with me is she had a great breakthrough in the past month. Um, so what happened with Charmaine is um, around one month back, you were in a very struggling space yeah. with kids getting sick. You got three kids, right? Yes. Uh, how old is the youngest one? My youngest one is one. How? Just turned one. <laughs> what about the others? Um, I've got a three-year-old and a seven-year-old. So well. one, three, seven. Yeah. So still, it's lots of responsibility and lots of juggling day to day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so when three kids all get sick and your partner were quite busy with work yes. at that stage, yeah. and you feel there's no way you can make to the gym to prioritize your fitness, ahead of other stuff in yes. your life yeah. and you want to quit. Yeah. Then we had a chat and we made a plan. I said, Charmaine, let's try. I want you to just come nine sessions in the coming three weeks. Let's yeah. give it a go. Yeah. And you made it. I did. I went in weird times, but... <laughs> you did it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and you keep continue yeah. that path and just keep coming. Yeah. So share your experience with us like how what makes you make it work what made you to make it work i think the first thing that i did was i had a conversation with my husband about it and i said to him that i really wanted to prioritize what i was doing and made sure that he was on board with it as well which he really was he was so supportive um and i said to him that you need to tell me what times you're available so that i can book in um, what type, what days that you're working and things like that because he has shift work so it's really hard to determine what days he's going to be working or what hours he'll be working and things so it took a lot of communication between me and my husband yeah lots teamwork. of teamwork yeah awesome um, and then it was also making sure of checking in with my husband to make sure he's mentally prepared for taking care of <laughs> his kids, kids. Very good. Yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> not something he enjoys doing a lot but um, yeah, he was so supportive and he stepped up, which was amazing. Awesome. Um, yeah, and then just uh, going literally whenever it fits. So some, sometimes it was 5 o'clock in the morning, sometimes it was uh, 7 o'clock at night. It was just whenever it fit in, whenever he was available and just making sure that I pushed myself just to get there. And once I was there, it was so easy to like enjoy it and like do the workouts and everything. I remember one day, like... Uh, they are driving to get some grocery shopping done. Yeah. And like on the way, they just drop you here on the yes, gym. That's right. And to the gym, <laughs> and your husband took the kids to 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 do some shopping. Yes. And you wait here after class, probably another half an hour. Yes. So they on the way home, they can pick you up. Yeah. So when I know, like that's what happened that day. I was like, Charmaine, like you're great. Like you're so determined. You once your mind is there. Yeah. You're like I'm just gonna get it work. Yes. Well, is there moments like the kids just not very cooperative? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's still a big, big challenge to get the kids on board because adults, it's easier you can communicate. The kids sometimes they have tension, they have their own feeling, they just yeah just can't get on board. How did you manage moments? Like well, that? um, the kids are really excited to come to the crèche, but the hardest bit was when I couldn't bring them to the crèche. Okay. And they'd be like clinging on to me and crying and saying, I didn't want to leave. And then I'd have all three of them staring at me through the window crying as I'm leaving. <laughs> it feels so bad. But um, like just checking in with my husband after I left and everything, I'm like, are they actually okay? And he goes, yeah, yeah they're fine. They were just putting on a show type thing to make me feel bad. <laughs> Is there like time, like they just wouldn't cooperate, dress up? to yes. get out of the house yes they just 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 delay everything you do yes <laughs> how, how did you manage that um well i try and communicate with them um beforehand uh so if i'm going in for a morning session i'll tell them the night before what i expect from them in the morning awesome um and if if it comes down to it i have brought them in their pajamas before because <laughs> they just don't and i bring their breakfast sometimes gotcha. because they won't eat sometimes in the morning um yeah and they will purposely just dawdle even though they're excited to come they just don't know what to do sometimes to get yeah. ready and yeah and when i'm getting ready and everything it's just they just dawdle and get confused and waste time <laughs> yeah how do you feel stressful 
It does at times, yeah. Um, just trying to get them out the door, but once you're all out the door, it's like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can breathe again. <laughs> so I guess like you make the rules for them. Just, just yeah. let them follow you. You make like this is what mom expect you guys to do, and yeah. you just follow. That's right. And and sometimes like I think sometimes also compromise some days. Like mm. if you just can't really move them, yes. If you like. <laughs> Well, I just have to surrender and let the flow take them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They can come in their pajamas without their hair that's brushed right. and bring their breakfast. Now we don't mind. <laughs> they're, they're fine, yeah. As long as they're having fun. <laughs> so, um, next question is, by coming consistently three times a week, yeah. like I know you still have that parent duty, like yeah. am I putting the time doing the right thing should I put this time to spend with my family looking yeah. after the kids but is it worth it and how does that impact your life your your family life your time with them yeah so I I do struggle a lot with thinking oh maybe I'm wasting my time here when I could be doing things that are more beneficial for the family and stuff but then I get out with the kids and I do something and I'm like, oh, I can actually play Chasey with them now because I'm not exhausted all the time. Or awesome. I can play the off-ground Tiggy with my seven-year-old that he loves and I'm not constantly falling because I have the strength to hold myself up now. <laughs> um, or I can just uh, keep going and not just get completely wiped out by the end of the day doing the things that need to be done. And then I realize that the time that I'm getting with them is more quality time awesome. than what it was before when I was just exhausted and I'd just take them to the playground and sit on the bench and watch them. <laughs> so I would say this three hour you put weekly in the gym is making you a better parent for them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so you can provide more quality time, quality care yeah. for the kids. Yeah, and I can. I can join in and be goofy because I've got the energy to do so and they love that and that's awesome. Yeah. I love it. So does people around you notice your change since you joined that? Since you start training? My husband notices a lot. He's the only person I really ever see, so <laughs> he notices a lot and he's been giving me a lot of compliments, which is really nice. <laughs> I have a client, she told me like when she's not She's a bit DL, like her mental space is not correct. Yeah. Her husband was like, say, go to gym. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Do your therapy session and then <laughs> come back. Yeah. I think that's a really, really great mentality there. Like, yeah. like it's, it feels like you are wasting a bit of time pulling you off from the family. You are doing something meaningful for them. Yeah, that's right. I think, and it's a good example for the kids as well because. My seven-year-old started his own little fitness routine at home, so awesome. my husband's also into fitness as well. Um, so the, between the two of us, he's noticing what we're doing, and, and he's like, I'm going to do this too, and he does his little push-ups every morning, and his sit-ups every morning, he gets so motivated for it, it's really cute. This is <laughs> great, great. Thanks, Charmaine. Um, I hope Charmaine's story can give you some inspiration, motivation. So one last question. For parents who are struggling now, like the Charmaine one month ago, what is the message you want to pass to them? Um, I think the most important thing is to remember that you are important too, and and the more that you can boost yourself up and give yourself a positive feeling, the better you will be for your family as well. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Hope our uh, Charmaine story give you some thoughts. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love it. This is great.